are in Toronto at Des Studio. <laughs> and uh, Boris is uh, setting up to get some drum tracks rolling. The most important part that we actually met, like in person, we're here, we can try things, we already did some, you know, important yeah, yeah, things. Right, yeah. And then we can show you result quite soon, I guess, right? Even we're busy, but like yeah. it would be mostly up to you. Of course, I'm gonna get involved too, but let's uh, run it again and then play. Yeah, let's run. Pick the best one yeah. that you think give it me, is. You just give record me. it, like you mean record it? No, he 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 gets it here. Another thing that's important for me at this point is to is to go beyond what everybody has already heard, and we have to go. and And when you look at the technology that's available right now, never has there been this much uh, creative uh, technology available to the musicians and the writers. Mo most people aren't using it; they're just recording the same old way they've been recording since 1960. They do the tape to go back and forth. Only the rappers are doing uh, something different. And, um, they're, they're, and it's very inexpensive music to make. But what I want to do is take the technology, apply it to rock, and, and take that rock sound up. And, and, and the, one of the biggest things to do is to use the, the drums, take the drums into MIDI, beef up the drums so they sound like whatever they're going to sound like because it's never been done before. Um, some people are starting to do it because they make the software for it. But it hasn't really been uh, professionally exploited. So this is a new thing. I want to take something that's normal and bring it higher. That, like Jimi Hendrix when he played guitar, when he played it, they, nobody heard that before. They said, wow, this is different. Wow, this is new. And all the good artists, they take something and, and it's, when people hear it, they, they haven't heard it before. So, and when Michael Jackson was doing his album, he would go into the studio and he would say, you have to do something that they haven't heard before because we don't want to repeat. So he would get people to, they would shoot for something new. Well, we can write a new song, but songs are really not that new. You know, most of them are, have been done before one way or another. So I want to take the production and use the ideas of technology that we have today, apply it, and um, move it into something different. I'm just starting to do that. So this is part of it. We keep working and use that. Look at all the gear we have. Oh my goodness. Lots of toys. <laughs> okay, D. Let me try again or something okay. or whatever. Or... Baby, 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 I love you. 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 I you. know? That the first part is a cut from a different song. Exactly. Just and dropped it's in. And then there's no transition finished yet. It's, it's It goes from the loop into the real song. Okay. Abruptly. Okay. And so the tempo is uh, changes. And I, I don't know what you're going to do with that. But <laughs> we need a transition in there. Maybe you could intro it, the, the real song with uh, a bar... Uh, roll in or something well i would suggest to start right of new song my question was uh, please show me what you mean exactly when you were like it should be at least on one right, uh, right. you understand okay. what i'm saying yeah, yeah. when the new song strikes in yeah, this, is, this is like a background 
ambient stuff. I got it, of oh, course, okay, of okay, course, okay. of course. But my question was, because it wasn't clean cut to me, so I didn't know, and I still don't know, how we're gonna start off this tune. Good idea. I don't know and if you <laughs> want to keep this way, or you'd like to, to start clean cut, I want to keep this as, to as long as we can, and in the end we might cut it. But if we can ha somehow make it work, we try. The, it, it's uh, the reason is uh, it's from another song that uh, has interest in it. If after the end of what I don't know nine bars or one two three four yeah nine nine bars it runs for nine bars. If at bar eight you started your normal drum whatever you would like to do in reggae as a as a, a drum roll intro, then we fade the other one out when your drum rolls coming in. That, would that make sense? Well, yeah, we can. We, uh, we, we, we will try. Uh, How would you intro the song if you were the drummer? By yourself. Because one sometimes we have. Um, I need to, to, to listen to this yeah, issue a few times, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. I need to listen to that part, trans, uh, trans, trans, transition part, right? From one to another, from pre intro to actual song. Just after coming in. Okay, let me hear it again one more time. If, if, if you the I love you is a little bit extended, move it, change perfect. it, stretch it or whatever. You can change it. It's it's uh, it's not fixed like perfectly. It's it, there. You can extend it, move it front, move it back, chop it a little, make it longer a bit. Okay, but for now, my question, D, hmm. are you telling me that the song starts somewhere in within the full field of the logic? Because can we just do cut? It where the actual store yeah. song starts, that would be nice, at least to see the song the starts from right? sure. 15. We just yeah, need easier. to cut where it's... Uh, uh, yeah, and then keep the click so you know when it's coming. Yeah, from that moment, just... You know. Yeah, it's all that long street. This long street, that's where it starts. Right there. Yeah. Or I can extend the. Um, I had some delay there. I love you, love you. You know. No, it's right now all we agree that what would be the easiest one if you can just make a cut and separate it. So we're not even bothering with this pre-intro. Right where the song starts already, you know? Hmm. Because it's right there, it's somewhere right there. Yeah. It starts right here. Yeah, which is so just, yeah, just make a cut and put it a little bit aside and loop it and that's it. And we, we won't know ever. And yeah, we need to maybe move it like uh, enough so to have two bars of click, right? So we can put before. This song is long, eh? It is. For the radio? Really? Uh, <laughs> not this one. This one is, I don't know where it's going yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Reason to live on is for the radio, for sure. This one, don't know yet. Soundtrack. I hear this uh, for movie, movie sound. <laughs> Be 
this video I start to, to kind of like that bass drum because it's, it's something that it sits and it, it, it gets nice groove, right? It's always like been, to be honest with you, it's been in heavy use, it is in heavy use, and it will be in heavy use. There is nothing you can do. It's the last thing people will, will judge anybody's production by having beat uh, that has. In this case, obviously, not just bass drum, but like, um, unlike many other songs, the main, you know, flying driven force. Because it, considering that, you can't beat it. This is natural groove. It will always do the job. That's why it's uh, still people doing, using that beat. It's one of the beats that people use forever, just like this one. That will be forever. It's a little tough to play, actually. It's <laughs> the strings are tight. Thank you. 